What's happening gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a money glitch. This is a car duplication glitch. Yes, it's the gift cards to friends, but you only need one friend for this, all right guys? You it's no longer the three player method. All you need is one friend. The only other car duplication glitch is the Sultan glitch and nobody wants to do that. You're going to spend more money than you actually gained off that. So this is your best bet if you're trying to duplicate cars and yes, you can duplicate retros whatever you want. I will warn you, you need custom plates for this. If you're going to be using it as a money glitch, which in the video we're going to be duping a retro, as you can see right here, you need custom plates. All right, so uh, yeah, one friend, custom plates. Better if you guys have the same bunker. You guys need MOCs. And uh, yeah, so shout out to the founders, Celestial Gaming, Macclesfield UK, Killer Gaming, and Cesar909. And uh, yeah, this is the vantage point of the person receiving the car. I will have tags in the video showing the car receiver and the helper okay just so nobody is confused but all you need is one friend for this guys it is legit you need a fagio or an rh8 inside of your moc so that you can actually replace over the car all right this is going to be your dummy car and this is the car that gets replaced over all right so this is what you got to do as the person receiving the car right here, we need to get Sultan. Now, it's just like the Sultan glitch where you gotta, you know, let go of the pause button and the and hit the trigger at the same time. That is what you gotta do. It's way easier in the bunker. I'm telling you, it's not difficult whatsoever. So here we go. We're gonna get started right about now. This is a pretty easy glitch once you guys get the hang of it. So as the car receiver, as you can see right there, get on your Faggy or RH8, hold the pause button, Flick the right trigger all the way down and let go of the pause button. And you'll get that right there. Just like the God Mode glitch I posted last night. You you want this pause, okay? Now tell your friend to join a job and then tell your friend to invite you to the job. We use Collection Time 1 because the spawn point is right outside of our bunker. So right now he just sent me an invite. I accepted it. I'm joining. And now, oh yeah, and shout out to BMX for being my helper on this. Now he is going to kick me from the job. Okay, there you go. You've been kicked from the job. So since we use collection time one, he kicks me, and guess what? I spawn right by our bunker, right here. So there we go. I'm spawned down at the bunker, and I'm sultaned. I can't pull up my phone. Now, he, the helper, as you can see right there, needs to go inside of his bunker. He goes inside his bunker. He's facing his MOC, and now the person receiving the car needs to go start up a job. You can start up the same job you've been using. Now start up the job tell your friend to send you a few invites you can use join game method but i recommend invites so right now i'm telling bmx right here shoot me a few invites because right now i'm him in this video i am the guy getting guns in the bunker in this state so he shot me a few invites right here i'm going ahead and i'm getting into the blue circle as i accepted the invites accepted another invite he spammed me about three and now this is what you want to see boom accept that tell him to back out of the job right away tell your friend to back out of the job now that your friend backed out of the job, you just want to spam through the alerts. Okay, you're going to get shot up in the clouds like that. You'll either get that message, this job is no longer available, or you're going to get the message unable to connect. Either one works. Okay, once you get shot back down, boom, there we go. You're back in a default bunker. MOC is gone. You have about three or four seconds to take your sticky bombs out. Take your sticky bombs out and toss them. I was only able to get one down because I kind of messed up, but one is all you need. He was able to get three down for me in this video. Now you're going to spawn at another bunker somewhere else, call up a CEO helicopter, and then get back over there. So now we're back together over here in front of the bunker. We're back in the car receiver's uh, point of view. So now he's already thrown the BMX has thrown his bombs in the bunker already. We're ready to go. I'm still sultaned right now. I can't pull up my phone, nothing like that. So he's going to go ahead and park the car right there. Okay, once he's parked the car right there, He's going to open up the door for me, and then he has his interaction menu open, and then I'm just going to run towards it and spam Y. Remember, tell the friend to open up the interaction menu so that he doesn't get sucked into the bunker. All right, and just like you saw I did, I ran up to it and I spammed Y. Now I have gotten his car into a default bunker, okay? That's all you want. Just like the guns in the bunker was in default, this car is in a default bunker. It's basically in everyone's bunker in the session. So once we've done that, go ahead and park it like you see I'm doing right there. Now remember, we have our Fagio or RH8 inside of the MOC, so what you want to do now is go ahead and run outside, bombs are already placed, cars are already placed in there, we've pretty much done all the work, there's only a few more steps to do. Now, once you go outside, you're actually going to open up your MOC menu. 
So, and the uh, the friend, the helper, stays outside pretty much this whole time. So open up your MOC menu and request personal vehicle. Once you've requested personal vehicle, that's what's going to bring out the Fagio or RH8 that you had stored in there. You're going to go ahead and get it. Now, before we used to get glitched out or we used to get frozen behind the MOC with another friend. That's why we had to have three people. This is the two player method. So you can see right here, I have to break down the fence because for some reason, uh, you know, driving a Fagio into it doesn't do anything, but I can punch a fence down, you know, GTA logic. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this in there. He is gonna stay outside the entire time. He's already gotten guns in the bunker. If he goes anywhere inside of the bunker or anything like that, he's probably gonna get caught on an infinite black loading screen and you don't want that. All right, so I'm going in there right now with the Fagio. Now, this part can be a bit tricky for some people, but if you listen to me, you will it will help you. So we're going to be getting frozen by ourselves now behind the MOC. What you want to do is quickly, and I mean quickly and very closely, smash right on the D-pad and then and then press start, okay? So as you can see, Sticky Bomb's right there to the left. He placed a few of them. So right on the D-pad, start. Almost instantaneously, almost right next to each other, and boom, just like that to get frozen. To check if you did it right, go to the online tab, go to jobs, and you should have those jobs grayed out. Quick jobs and play jobs should be grayed out. Once that is done, you can tell my friend BMX right here, go ahead and press left on the D-pad and blow up the sticky bombs. There we go. He blew up the sticky bombs and we're good. So now he has to get me unfrozen. Now stay in the pause menu. What you want, what you want him to do now is go ahead and start up a job. You guys can keep starting up the same job you've been starting. Now this is key. He must not leave that job. If he leaves that job, then he will be frozen. You want this to be done in an invite only session so that you can get this message right here. Okay, you're going to see the message soon, but he must stay in this job. And then you, what you want to do, don't tell him to send you invites to the job. You want him to actually, uh, you want to actually go to the online tab, go to players, and you want to join him through there. And you'll see why. So when I'm joining BMX right here, we're in an invite only session. He didn't send me any invites to this job. I'm gonna press on his name. That's an automatic alert. You don't want to. You don't want to use the automatic alerts. So I'm gonna back out of that real quick. And then when I back out of it, you can hit pause again. I'm still frozen uh, behind the MOC. So now I'm gonna go to players. Go ahead and go to BMX. Hit join game. Hit A on that alert, and you're gonna get that message. The session you're trying to join is private. That's because we're in an invite only, and we didn't get invited to that job. So here we go, I spawn back down, now I can get out. He needs to stay in that job. Tell him not to leave that job or else his car will despawn, okay? Now we're in his car, it's all safe. All we gotta do now is drive this retro over to the corner of the bunker, left, left or right side, and then boom, we get sucked into our MOC, and that's the glitch. He can safely leave out of the job now. And that's it, guys. So it's not a complete, it's not a crazy complicated glitch now. It's only two players. You do not need a third player anymore. I definitely recommend doing this glitch. It's the best car duplication glitch we got. So this is what you want to do now. Go to creator once you're in there. You want to go to creator and then start up another invite only session. So press start once you're in creator. Go to online, play GTA online, invite only session. Once you're in the new invite only session, you can go ahead and invite him. And then after you do this whole part, you can go ahead and get guns in the bunker and you can help him get a retro. You know, and you guys can switch back and forth. I'm telling you, this is the best duplication glitch we got right now. The Sultan glitch sucks, all right? It's terrible. I spent $4 million and never even got a dupe when it first came out, so I was not going to post it. Even if I did hit it, I wouldn't post it. All right, so here we go. Once we're in here, this is where you need custom plates. You want to go ahead and change your, uh, your plate now, whatever he gave you, because we plan on selling this car. So you want to put your own custom plate on it, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and pick any one of my plates and place it on there. And then once you've done that, you have yourself a clean duplicate, okay? Because the iFruit app knows that that plate isn't yours because he gave it to you and that was his plate. So you put your own plate on it. There we go. That's a plate that I made. This is now a clean car and we can now sell this car. Okay, that's the way to do it. All right, guys. So as you can see, not too complicated whatsoever. You only need one friend and you only need a few requirements. All right, it's not a crazy complicated glitch but you guys do want to be at least intermediate glitchers all right to really get uh the hang of this glitch this isn't the best glitch for beginners i mean most car duplication glitches aren't best for beginners to be honest 
but this one definitely requires a bit of skill and a bit of practice. So if you keep failing, don't worry about it, guys. Just keep going, okay? But that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys liked the video and enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to slap that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.